you started the yellow dot journey in July and you mentioned to Liesl saying, you know, I've done the course, just can't get going, right? Would you say that was, that was one of the frustrations that you experienced when you were first to Yellow Dots? Or what were some of the other frustrations that you found and, and maybe share some of the lessons from that? One of, I think one of the biggest frustrations that we have, and, and I think everybody has, it. of course, at that given time, it's a massive frustration, is timing. You set alarms, you, you do everything that you possibly can, but yet you miss the run. Hell, man, I'm, I'm, I'm in the house and I'm missing the alarms. And, and that was for me extremely frustrating because you, you at that point, you in yellow, you want to progress. It's nerve wracking on the one hand, it's frustrating on the other hand, it's funny on the other hand, but you're not progressing because you're progressing at a snail's pace. And now you're still missing runs. And when you see that you've missed a run of 50% or 100% or 30%, you think, oh my word, how did I miss this? What am I going to do? You know. So that I think was the biggest frustration I experienced. And the lesson or the way I got around it was, is I went and wrote down a mission statement or a statement of intent or an expression of intent for whatever you like. And I still remember that today and some of the older hodl dots or hodl knots will remember this um, from previous calls and, 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 and it read simply, it just said that I aim to increase and accumulate profits to the tune of three to 6% per day, trading three candles at a time over four to six hours per day, five days a week. And every day I wrote that down, every night I wrote that down, and every afternoon I wrote that down until it just stuck in my head. And that's the way I've got it. And, and I made peace that outside that framework, if it didn't work, it didn't work. It wasn't meant to be. But during that framework of those, that time span, or that plan that I had, that's where I focused. And then I stopped focusing on the missing of the runs to focusing on what I'm actually doing. And I don't that know if it makes sense. No, it, it, it does. And I, I think this is why our reasons why uh, and why we should look at from a perception point of view, how they will and can evolve and also then being able to focus and letting things go. And I think mm -hmm. not not to instill a sense of laziness or complacency, but being able to just make peace with, I missed this run, how do I get the next one? Instead of, we've all experienced FOMO, mm -hmm. everyone in this, in this, on this call um, knows what that feels like. You know, you've stepped away or something has run 300% while you were sleeping, and then you endeavor to stay up the whole night, the next night, nothing runs. I, I think it's something that comes quicker to some and longer to others. Do you think that with the yellow dot level uh, and that realization, you know, that that expression of intent, I quite like that, uh, uh, tied in with journaling, that worked well together or is it just two separate entities that just happen to work at the same time? No, I, I, I think that was exactly the point because it, it what's the word i would imagine synchronicity that's where everything came together i literally took different colored pencils or cokies or whatever you want to call them and i drew the little dots out from yellow to black and then i drew where i am and what i want and and writing down the plan and looking at the journal, the journal wasn't your sob story. It's not your, it's not a place where you're writing all sorts of things. You are writing down things pertaining to your journey on 3M. And what it did for me was it kept things top of mind. So the first thing I wrote down was I made the dots. And then I wrote my thoughts down. Then I wrote my plans down. And 
the next morning, first thing, I would take my journal and I'd think about the previous day and I'd review the previous day. Given the plan I wrote down and what I did and how it turned out and what I'm going to do today. And that's where the journal helped, is it kept things in perspective. It kept things accountable. Mm. You know, 3M is about accountability. And, and you're accountable only to yourself. In fact, you're accountable to your coach as well, because they're spending the time and the effort to help you. But that's where it changed my journey altogether, when I got that wrong. And it doesn't come right immediately because if you're not used to doing it, it takes a bit of time to to get into it. It takes discipline. It takes, oh, do I really have to do this now? Come on, you know. Trust me, write it down. You'll see what a difference it makes. <laughs>